Now I'm going to show you how easy it is to take down the fence. I put my slip knot here, so I just pulled it. Just pulled it. I'm now going to pull it through here. So I'm putting tension here and I'm pulling. And that's out. So my zebra handle's loose. I'm going to just drop this. Grab my hook so I don't forget it because I'm going to reset it. I'll walk to the other end. All right, I'm going to start reeling it up. This time it's locking. I've got good tension. You do when you reel these up, make sure you got good tension. If you don't, your whole spool will get loosey goosey. It'll start sliding around and it won't fit on the reel. It'll start getting caught in here and it gets to be a mess. So since I put the other end, I put that other end out right now, literally the, the end is just falling to the post. Walk up here. I'm going to loosen it now, and I'm going to tie it off. So I'm going to do that. I want about, I don't know, say a foot. And go around it twice. One, two. Wrap it around. Create that, wrap it around the handle. And create that slip knot that I always do. So it'll be ready to go. Okay? All right, we're gonna string another roll out. I just showed you how I rolled them up. Slip knot out, unroll, unroll, grab the zammer handle that I typically use. I'm gonna go up here. I put it in here, because I want, I want that tension I want that tension back here if it's going to pull. I don't want it up here. What I want this rod to do is just make it conductive. I don't want to put all that tension on there. So I'm going to, you're going to watch, I floss it through the bottom one. And I haven't quite figured out if this is the true right way to do it, but I floss it through here. I'm then going to push it through here. And I'm going to come around that handle. And one thing you'll notice is this actually creates... That, that friction I want, okay? And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pull that back. So I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna create, make it conductive, okay? And if this gets pulled on, it's gonna put most of that pressure on this, this line. So right or wrong, that's what I'm doing it till someone or I, I watch YouTube like you all and I figure out a different way. So now, my slip knot is come around over over I just created a loop there right here we created a loop through that hole through that hole Grab the tail or the piece here and grab that loop and it's right there. Then I just pull this piece, pull this piece out and it's released. So since I'm starting this fence on the far end, not on the hot wire, it's on the neighbor's fence here, four wire fence, I'm going to have to use the dead end and then I'll have to make the reel hot by running some tape on where it connects to the fence. To make this hot, I made it so that we can show you right here. Take it off the fence. I'm going to need to loosen it just a little bit, a few more notches in this case. 
So I'm letting it loose. Okay. I'm going to lock it back on like that. And you're going to take this wire, this excess wire, going out the fence, take this excess wire and wrap it around. So this hot wire is going to go, this hot wire is going to go on here, which will make the whole reel hot, even this bar. So then it will follow out to the line. 